welcome to another Train Insane video. You are in the kitchen with the Insane Bikini Mama, also known as Hannah Etherson. I am a mom, a businesswoman, and a bikini competitor, and I always eat well on the go. And you can too, with these super clean, easy recipes that we know you'll enjoy. Here are the ingredients for these delicious, no-bake, chocolate peanut butter protein balls. First, we have natural peanut butter. I love the Kirkland Costco brand. Then we also have our clover honey. A little oat bran. I can get this at Mother's or Sprouts or Trader Joe's. Um, worst case scenario, you can also do oat flour or make oat flour by just putting Quaker oats into a food processor and grinding it up real small. It's essentially about the same thing. Then lastly, we have our Cytosport 100% whey chocolate protein powder. This can also be found at Costco. It is a delicious chocolate protein. Some of them taste a little funky. This one is delicious. My sister has used different protein powders. She said it doesn't taste as good as my chocolate peanut butter balls. So I definitely recommend this one. Here are the list of calories, carbs, protein, and fat per serving. If you're wondering where I got these numbers, I got them off of the My Fitness Pal app. If you're interested in downloading the link, it'll be posted here on the video. All right, so here we go. We are going to make our no-bake chocolate peanut butter protein balls. First, we're gonna do half a cup of oat bran or oat flour that you've already put in the food processor. One cup of chocolate protein powder which also equals out to about two and a half scoops of chocolate protein if you're trying to figure that out. Then we are going to get into our sticky ingredients. So we've got our honey, we do half a cup of honey. Then we have our peanut butter. This is my favorite part. Oh, look at that, peanut butter. Who doesn't love peanut butter? I mean, seriously. We've got about one cup there flattens out okay then we are done although we have to mix it up this is the really fun part I would recommend gloves um, because it's really messy but I'm just gonna go for it right now here we go so you just want to mix it all up you literally just keep tossing it around until all of the wet ingredients kind of take over the dry ingredients Oh, I feel like a child again. It's like messy and gooey. Um, all right, so you just kind of keep going at it. You know, obviously make sure your hands are clean. These are amazing for like kids treats, um, snacks in the morning. I typically like to do two or three with a cup of coffee, but you know, I would suggest packing two or three and not having the entire you know, bowl with you at once because they are a bit addicting. But I do know my niece is five and she absolutely loves these. All right, so as you can see, it's gotten a lot easier here. It's like a dough. All right, so there you go. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna roll balls that are about the size of walnuts and you're gonna come out with around 22 to 25 balls, just depending on, you know, everyone's hands are different. And then all you have to do is just roll them out on the pan Go ahead and cover them with some foil or saran wrap and then put them in the fridge and you just let them refrigerate for about an hour and they are absolutely delicious. Thank you so much for watching. Once again, I'm Hannah Etherson with Train Insane Gym, always reminding you that no matter your situation, always strive to be the best version of you. Please check back each week for more videos. One is obviously again posture. You want to make sure that you maintain a, a broken posture, chest up. We want to keep